Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to our Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour. Hi guys, welcome. Thank you for joining. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live at five with today's Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour. I am so excited to be here. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're talking about wearing one item, three ways. I'm gonna give everyone a few minutes to log on. Hi guys, give me some hearts and waves. You guys know the drill. As you log on, I love it when you tell me where you're logging on from. Give me a wave, give me a hello, how are you? Tell me where you're logging on from and joining us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and longtime friend of Liam Bryant, and I am so excited to be coming to you live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Friday for our Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour. It's just a fun little break from it all, giving you some fashion fun for 30 minutes. Each week we talk about something new. We've been at this for, ready, drum roll please, 15 weeks. That's right, you guys, we are on week 15 and I am so grateful to you all for joining, for coming on, for having fun and having some fashion chit chat with me over the past couple of weeks. I'm so thrilled. Hi guys, Dallas, Texas, New York. Hi, Houston, Jersey, California. Hi everybody, thank you so much for logging on and joining. Again, my name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and a longtime friend of Lane Bryant, and I come to you live every Friday for a fun fashion chat. We cover everything from casique to intimates to sleepwear to apparel to swim, everything in between, and we just have a fun little fashion chat. Today, we are talking about one item, three ways, and it's going to be awesome. It's gonna be a really fun one, summer vibes. We're just ready for it. So I'm gonna give you guys another second to log on, keep it moving. I am watching from here. Hi, Indiana, Richmond. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to see you all. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's get started. I wanted to talk about one item three ways, and I specifically wanted to talk about an item that I know sometimes we're a little bit nervous and, and weary about. So before we jump into this rack and I give you a couple of suggestions on some really fun, summer-appropriate looks, I want to remind you guys that now is the time. Go Forth and Save Sale is officially happening right now on LaneBryan.com and in stores. So head to your local store. If you're lucky enough to have that store open, happy shopping. Um, if you're still looking to find out whether your store is open or not, don't forget you can log on to LaneBryan.com, type in your store that you're looking for. If their hours pop up, that means it's open. If the hours are not there yet, that means you just got to wait a little bit longer, but they're getting to you. I promise. And of course, as you guys know, you can shop on lanebryant.com. So you have all the opportunities to shop in many different ways. And this weekend is definitely a good time to do so because it is the go forth and save sale. That means clothing, accessories, let's see what else we have. Sleepwear and shoes are all 50% off and there's door busters. So we have full price shorts and crops, $20, which of course we're gonna be talking about shorts today and select tanks, $10. So door busters happening all weekend, 50% off clothing, shoes, accessories, and sleepwear. Guys, it's basically everything on the site. Major sales, so now is the time. If there's anything you've been dreaming of these last 15 episodes, get on there and get into it. So let's get started. Okay, um, I wanted to talk to you guys. I've been talking about the white pant and the white short a lot over the last couple of weeks, and I really wanted to talk to you guys about kind of how versatile they actually could be. Um, of course, I will also show you, I'm going to put my little notepad down for a second. I will also show you the denim shorts so that you can have the options because I know not everybody's comfortable in the white and that's totally fine, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to create multiple looks with a crisp, easy summer basic. So here we are. We're starting with our girlfriend short. I'm going to show it to you up close as always. These cuffs come undone. I just have them cuffed up to style it out for you guys. It is the mid-rise. These do have the Flex Magic waistband. They have tons of stretch in them guys. Functioning front pockets, functioning back pockets. These do come mid-rise, so they come up really good. It's just such a comfort, really comfortable waistband. It comes up high enough. You have a modest coverage. The leg is not too short. I'm wearing them right now. And I know you guys always ask me, I'm 5'7", I'm size 2022. 20, I go, kind of go back and forth between sizes. Um, I'm in a 20 of these girlfriend shorts and I have them cuffed a little bit shorter because that's how I prefer them. 
but the cuffs come undone. So you can adjust your length and your modesty and kind of your coverage level there so you are comfortable in whatever works best for you. So that is where we're at. We're gonna start with a girlfriend short. The first thing I wanted to do is kind of give you like a very casual, easy sort of vibe with, with an outfit. So I wanted to show you, and plus it's like 4th of July weekend, Americana, it's summertime. There's so many opportunities to kind of have these fun fashion tops and have fun with it. So I wanted to show you this is the gingham off the shoulder and it's kind of convertible because you can wear it on the shoulder and off the shoulder. I'm going to come closer so you guys can see it. So it's elasticized up here at the top, which is absolutely fantastic because you have a comfort level. It's not just like stuck and you can't move around throughout the day. So you definitely have the opportunity here to wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. You do have the flutter sleeve, which is really great for, I know a lot of my ladies out there love to have a sleeve as opposed to sleeveless. So it's a great opportunity to kind of have that fun trend, show a little skin with the off the shoulder, but still have that modest coverage when it comes to the sleeve length that I know that we've talked about a couple of times. So cute. And then the rest is just a super easy, comfy jersey blend. So you have lots of movement, super lightweight. I mean, this is like the quintessential summer shirt because it's polished, it's put together, it's a really cute fashion option, but there's so much comfort behind it that it feels like you're wearing nothing. It's super lightweight, tons of stretch, tons of opportunity. I'll actually hold it up so you guys can see it um, against my body. Like, I mean, this stretch is off the shoulder, super cute, and now you can see it up against the white shorts. It's like the cutest little summer look. So I wanted to show you the gingham, of course, because here's the thing. Once you're out of shorts and once you don't wanna, you know, you're not wearing shorts anymore, we're transitioning into new seasons, this is something that's super versatile. So it's all about thinking about versatility when you're adding pieces into your wardrobe. How can you grab a couple of blouses that will work with five or six other bottom options in your wardrobe right now and then still wear them right now as we're wearing our white shorts or our white skinny jeans or our white crops or our white linen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I know you guys, like you've heard me talk about the white pant constantly or the white short constantly throughout these past couple of weeks, but the reason is, is because it really is a great crisp wardrobe basic. It's an item that you can wear over and over and over again. And once you get past that fear of like, oh my gosh, am I gonna spill something on it? It's really easy for it to just become that grab and go item. So this was the first look I wanted to put together for you guys. Super cute, white short, gingham shirt. I mean, throw on a pair of sneakers or sandals and you have like the cutest little summer look. Of course, you're gonna add on your accessories because accessories are 50% off this weekend, so you might as well throw some in there. So pair it back with a cute little pair of sunnies. You have your red sunnies, and you have like a really good little Americana look put together there. This is great as we start to kind of open back up and get back out there and start to maybe see our friends and our family a little bit more with, you know, safety in mind, of course. You have opportunities to get dressed, right? We're like kind of getting back out there. It feels really good to get up and get dressed and put on a look as we break kind of out of the COVID land that we've been living in. And I know that we're slowly starting to open up, but those are the opportunities to start wearing those looks and getting dressed and getting back out there. So that was look number one. Look number two, I will show you right now because it's the one I have on. And you guys know, I always like to show you kind of what I'm wearing or wear one of the looks that we're talking about. So you can see it on body and I can show it to you kind of how it fits my body and my shape. And as you guys know, of course, after every live, we share all of the item numbers, all of the pieces that we talk about today. And then over on my Instagram page, I share all the outfits kind of on me, how I wore them. So I take photos and all of them so you guys can see and use that as reference as well. Um, Cause I know there's always a couple of questions in here somewhere, size, height, how are you wearing it? We'd love to see it on your body, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got you covered, don't worry. I always post the pictures so that you guys can kind of get an idea. I know a lot of you guys like to kind of use it as um, a moving scale to see how it would work on you, your shape, your body, and your preferences. So anyway, I can help, I try to. So this is look number two. Look number two is a little bit more polished and put together. So in my mind, I wanted to show you guys how to do a really easy, classic black and white look for summer that you can wear, you know, as we're you know dining outdoors now or we're headed somewhere, you have a little something, you want it to be a little bit more polished, maybe not as casual as your gingham tee and your sneakers, you wanna amp it up a little bit. So a chic black and white look is a very easy way to do just that. So I wanted to show you this beautiful black, so this is like, there's so much detail, it's hard to kind of explain um, without showing you guys super close. So I hope you don't mind, but I'm coming close so you can see what's going on here. So first of all, 
Ruffle detail on the sleeve, couldn't love it more. Uh, plaque it all the way down so this, your buttons are here, but they are concealed. Then you have this cute little tie waist, so you can, I have it right now slightly tied. I didn't like cinch it all the way, but you can cinch it in to really kind of create a certain silhouette and shape for yourself. And then there, it has like this cute, flirty little peplum style once you pull that tie in the center there. And then of course, for my ladies who love the sleeves, this is a great option, super lightweight. Again, lightweight material, an easy grab and go blouse. This is like a no brainer, easy to think of. You don't have to kind of get concerned about mixing and matching and how am I gonna style it out. Chic black and white is 100% A plus every single time. It is the perfect formula for a chic and polished look. And that's where kind of I wanted to achieve for you guys and show you guys it's a really easy way. You can still wear your black blouse and you know, your white shorts or your jeans or whatever you'd like, but you can still wear black in summer. It doesn't always have to be about color, color, color print because I know sometimes that's not in everyone's comfort zone as well. So I wanted to give you a little bit of everything. So again, it's this beautiful black blouse and then paired back like I have on today with the white shorts. So really easy, chic polish put together. Now, I did wanna show you guys this because it's a really easy way to kind of rework a look over and over again. So maybe you're not comfortable in shorts. Maybe you don't want to wear the white shorts. Maybe you have the white jeans and that's your comfort level or white pants and that's your an alley pant and that's your comfort level. This blouse works with those. Maybe you just want to wear them with your regular denim or you want to wear it with your denim shorts. We talked about the regular girlfriend short, you know, with the denim wash. Another easy staple item to have in your wardrobe. Perhaps this is like your comfort zone and you don't want to talk about the white shorts and you're like, Megan, leave it alone. I get it. It's okay. This is definitely still a really chic and easy look for summer. So again, as we head out and things start to open back up and we get to get kind of a little bit of a social life for the tail end of the summer, if you're headed to you know, a restaurant or you have a date night, this is a great look and it's still comfortable and easy to wear and you're not like you know too overdone and it's just a very basic look that is chic and polished and put together. And then of course, the easiest way to amp it up is drum roll again accessories so for me today i paired it with like cute little sandals i don't know if you guys can see them and then i threw on my pineapple earrings to just kind of have like a punch of summer but you guys know the drill there's so many options especially with the accessories in the sale this weekend so many options we can do we have the enamel we have the americana earrings we have you know you can do a tortoise or a white you can get some bling in there and get any of these guys i mean they're so many cute accessory options and it really does elevate and change a look the second you throw on those pair of earrings like this is like a whole different vibe so don't be afraid to wear that black and white it's not too simple sometimes simplicity is divine it's beautiful it's an easy look and then just throw on cute shoes cute earrings maybe some fun sunglasses and you're out the door and good to go so that is look number two look number three maybe my favorite i can't pick a favorite but it's really good because it's the perfect combination of work from home slash as we transition back into our offices, etc. I know some of us, I mean, it, it's slow and steady, but we're starting to get back into it, right? So as we start to kind of get back into our office or as things start to change for us in terms of our like work life and the at home life that we've had these past few months, you have to start to kind of think about like, all right, I got to change it up a little bit. So I wanted to give you a polished professional ensemble that did go back with the shorts but could of course as always be paired with any other pant in your wardrobe so again alley pant linen crop i mean i could go down the list you guys know the drill by now we have talked to the point of no end about all these basic items that you should have in your wardrobe so you can pair it back with any pant but i love the way it looks with the white short so i wanted to take two very simple pieces that again are wardrobe basics that you should be kind of investing in or you may already have, we've talked about these at length as well, like throughout the last couple of weeks. So a super easy, basic tank. This one happens to be the mixed media tank. So you've seen this one before. I have showed it in a print. I did not show it in a solid. And I wanted to show it to you guys because this is a way to kind of take a basic tank and dress it up a little bit. Having that mixed media of having this chiffon in the front and then that like cotton blend in the back combines the comfort but also gives you that level of sophistication. So this is an easy, easy item to have under a suit or a layer that you wanna kind of keep things a little bit more polished. So I took this tank and then 
Guys, I'm obsessed with this piece. It's so good. So then I paired it with the Brian blazer in this gorgeous coastal stripe linen blend. I mean, this couldn't be more summer to me. I mean, this just feels like a really crisp, beautiful summer look. And this is professional and put together. And this to me says business, fashion, and comfort all at the same time. So I'm gonna come closer so you can see the detail on the Brian blazer. This is a super lightweight. It's this like very, very soft kind of tensile cotton linen blend. Um, it has a little cuff at the um, end of the sleeve here. And this pocket, look at the button detail. Guys, this is like the cutest summer blazer. And if you guys know my obsession with the Brian blazer, maybe you don't, maybe you're new to this game, but a Brian blazer is a must have wardrobe item. As much as I talk about like the denim jacket or the white denim jacket, etc., the Brian blazer is that. And I was kind of like waiting, like when are they gonna give us a summer Brian blazer option? And we finally have it. So summer stripe, coastal stripe. It has these beautiful blues and turquoise, it's like denim stripe. Uh, it does have the front lapel. It is a functioning pocket. It does have the functioning button here. I'll show you the back so you can get an idea. It is semi long line, so it does come right about hip length. And it is just such a beautiful, I'll hold it up so you can't see my face, but you can hear me. But I wanna show you kind of how it looks up against the white with the white short. It's just such a chic, cute look to pair it back. So you have an all white look, you throw on that blazer and think about it. It's great for the work from home, right? You can sit at your desk, you can be on those Zoom calls, you can be working from home and you're still polished and put together. But it's also great for those of you who are starting to head back into the office. Okay, don't wear shorts to the office. Pair it back with those white pants. Pair it back with a pair of denim if that's allowed for your office. I mean, I think probably things are changing a little bit in terms of like strict dress codes as we sort of open back up. So have some fun with your fashion choices. Have some fun with those work from home slash incorporating and getting back into the workforce world. So I wanted to show you a really great way that you can still continue to be polished and professional and put together, especially, you know, I think about like, real estate agents and those kind of people who are really getting back out there and have to be physically put together. Um, and you need to have a little mix and match moment. A lot of places have to have those jackets. This is a great option because you can wear a jacket. It's lightweight. You're not going to be overheated. It's not a heavy weight material, but it is so cute and so pretty and so polished and put together. So I'll come close one more time so you guys can see the color and the stripe. So cute. Um, so that is look number three. So I kind of wanted to keep it like short and sweet so I can answer some questions. Of course, you guys know the drill. I get questions every single week. Lane Bryan posts a photo of yours truly and they ask you to ask me questions that we can cover in the live. Five questions get selected at random. If those are your questions that get selected, you get a $50 gift card so you can shop and enjoy some of the things that we've talked about. But of course, I do try to interact with you guys on here. It is always a little bit hard, but I try to come in here and interact and see what you guys got going on if you have any questions that I can maybe ask quickly so that we can just chit chat. So first let's get to the questions and then I will come in here and talk to you guys. So are you with me still? All right, cool. Um, all right, questions, here we go. Question number one, I am bad about combos. How do you decide what to pair together? Okay, so I kind of love this question because it really is so simple and I think a lot of us have a tendency just to overthink it and it's okay because it happens to the best of us even myself included I sometimes overthink looks that I, I say to myself this took 45 minutes to get dressed and it could have taken two minutes so I totally completely understand so here's the thing fashion is fun that's it it should be fun it should be effortless it should be easy we shouldn't be overthinking it it should not be stressful. So that is always my first rule of thumb. Like, please do not overthink it to the point where you are just miserable getting dressed or miserable shopping or it's not fun for you because that would ruin the essence of fashion in my personal opinion. Like pulling the fun out of it, no thank you. So my tips for kind of pairing things together is I always think about proportion and then I always think about color play or pattern play. So I kind of approach it in two different steps. So for example, today with the look I have on, I have on the girlfriend short. They are, um, they do have a lot of room, they have a lot of stretch. I could have paired any top with this, 
But to me, I was like, oh, I'm showing a lot of leg. I want to balance the mod. I want to balance the amount of skin I'm showing. I want to have a little bit more modesty because I'm going to be on the live. I want to showcase a more polished look, and I want to talk about how you can kind of have a little bit more voluminous of a blouse paired back with something that's a little bit more fitted in similar ways that I have in the past with uh, white skinny jeans and a tank and a kimono, or um, you know, wearing a, a pleated midi skirt or maxi skirt and then tucking in a tee into it so you can kind of create definition. So. The key there is to really start to think about proportion and how you can balance it out for yourself, for your body type, and for your preference. And then start to think about kind of color combinations, prints, patterns, and playing like that. And honestly, the best thing to do is to have fun with it, to try out different things, to kind of you know mix and match and, and experiment until you know, number one, your comfort level, and then number two, what you love and what you don't like. Um, and then the third thing I say is, I always say this to clients and I will share it with you as well. Be open to inspiration from anything around you. And by that, I mean, you know, I'm a big sunset lover, right? I love the way the sky looks. I love the sunset. That, that color combo, I often gravitate towards because it brings me joy. It makes me happy. And that's something that kind of is always in the back of my head. So constant inspiration from the things around you is usually a very easy way to start to incorporate kind of fashion and having fun with it. Bring out some happy, joyful moments that kind of hold a memory through color, through print, through pattern, um, and have fun with it that way. So don't feel like you have to be sort of like locked into rules or regulations when it comes to kind of putting together outfits. Just don't be afraid to try new things. That is definitely my answer for that one. Um, question number two. I find it very hard to find the perfect bra. Oh, yes, I love the bra questions. I find it very hard to find the perfect bra to wear under white tops. It's too high here now that I'm gonna wear another layer, so what bra do you recommend? Okay, so first of all, I feel you with the heat and layers. I'm with you. I think that the easiest thing to do is, I always say a nude bra is the go-to, and honestly, it's very easy to find a nude bra regardless of your skin tone because Lane Bryant has expanded their nude options. So you have plenty of options when it comes to nude colors to match various different skin tones because Lane Bryant has a huge expansion of the nude range now. It's a nude collection. It's really fantastic. So that's number one. Always go with nude because it is going to be like the most concealed and easiest bra to wear with a white top because you don't want to have the see-through. I completely understand. The other thing is, especially with temperature, like you want to wear a bra that's comfortable and you want to be cool and you want to not have to think about like your underlayer and all those things combined. I mean, it just is an endless list of things that we have to kind of check off when getting dressed. So I completely understand. For me, two bras I would say are, are must-haves. I always gravitate towards like a lightly lined t-shirt bra. I think they wear really well. It's kind of the ideal bra to be under like a white tee if that's your thing. If you're wearing like a white tee and shorts or you're wearing athleisure, athletic wear, or you're pairing it back with different things. It's kind of like a basic bra to have in your casique wardrobe. The other thing is the new Cool Bliss bra, I know, I feel like I've talked about it a couple of times already, but it's because for good reason. It is incredible. There's so many things about it, like there's mesh panels and um, there's moisture wicking fabric. So there's all those things that kind of like the technical piece of it behind it that allows it to be a comfortable cooling bra that you kind of just like, you're not drenched and sweating and uncomfortable at the end of the day. It really is a great bra. So if you have not tried that, I would say the Cool Bliss bra is a really great option. And of course, you guys know I talk about it all the time, but like you have to have a strapless. You've gotta have a multi-way strapless. And the good thing about the multi-way strapless, the Boost multi-way strapless is, it is a smooth, silky material. So it really can be, like it becomes kind of invisible under whatever you're wearing, especially when you're wearing those white blouses. So for example, where's my white blouse? Here it is. So for example, this tank here is quite sheer, honestly. Um, you definitely, I mean, you can probably, I have the light on, of course, but this is definitely something where you're going to want to think about wearing a new bra and something that has a silky smooth texture so that you don't have to worry about sort of kind of seeing through, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I do understand that completely. And those would be my like three go-tos. I think multi-way strapless, cool bliss, and a lightly lined t-shirt bra in a nude color, and you're good to go. Question number three. Hi guys, are you still with me? I see all the hearts, thanks for those. Um, okay, what are summer clothing options with coverage of arms and knees but are not too hot? Hmm. 
I like the coverage, but struggle with finding cool clothing for summer. Okay, so good questions to this week. I like it. Um, here's the thing. Fabric is key, 100%. That is basically the only answer I'm going to give you. I will elaborate, of course, because I talk a lot. But fabric is key, 100%. Look for cottons. Look for linens. Look for gauze. Feel the weight of the fabric. So I know some of us can't be in store. That's okay. But consider, you know, kind of reading a little bit more about the information about the pieces that you're purchasing if you're shopping online. If you're in store, feel your fabrics, right? You want to feel the weight. You want to see kind of what the heft is going to be on your body. Um, but fabric is key. So especially if you're somebody who runs hot, if you're somebody who really is focusing on staying cool and having coverage, those are the things you want to look for. So fabric first and foremost. The second thing is I think a sleeve an open sleeve like this one I have on, this blouse today that I featured was definitely intentional. I wanted to show you guys this. It's a great option for those of you who want the modest coverage on the upper arm area. And I know we've talked about it. You guys have asked these questions over the past few weeks. I wanted to show you something that had trend and had style and you were able to kind of cinch in here and have some fun. You can unbutton more, show a little more skin, but you have the modesty with this. And the key here is not only is this a super lightweight material, but there's a lot of movement to it, right? It's a semi kind of oversized vibe. You do have, an, it's almost a kimono sleeve. It's not officially a kimono sleeve. I wouldn't categorize it as that, but you do have room in the sleeve in the upper arm. So it's breathable, right? It's not stuck to you. It's not a form fitting piece. So that's the other thing you should look for. In terms of bottoms, obviously, shorts are a great way to keep cool but you want modest coverage here in terms of like not showing your knees or your arms so if you're looking to cover those knees up crops are the way to go think about grabbing a linen crop think about a, any crop pant Livy active crop pants those are the way to go for you and then of course honestly at the end of the day dresses are the easiest way to keep cool and look fashionable in a, like a pinch it's an easy one and done grab and go item there's tons of options right now on the site available for you to shop on lanebryant.com and in stores. There's tons of options. So if you're not a sleeveless girl, look for the short sleeves. Or if you want to grab a sleeveless dress and throw a light kimono over it, you guys know how I feel about a light layer. So I won't get into it any further, but you know the drill. Think about how you can get creative with those light, easy layers so that you have your coverage and you have your modesty and you can still stay cool and comfortable all summer long. Okay, next question. What are the best shorts for an apple shape? Hmm, <laughs> this feels like a trick because you know what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that every single body, whether you want to categorize yourself as a fruit, as a vegetable, whatever the case may be, every single body can wear any short. I promise you, get out of your head, put them on, try them on. As long as you feel confident and feel your best, you're going to look your best. And that truly, honestly is the ultimate rule of thumb, especially when you're dressing for summer because you're showing so much skin and all that stuff, you have to look and feel your best. And the only way to do that is that you feel like yourself and you feel confident and beautiful in whatever you put on. So I understand that some of us aren't that comfortable with certain things and I totally get that. But my number one rule of thumb always is just try it, try it. Give yourself a little bit of room, of wiggle room to try new things. I promise you, you won't regret it. That said, I get it. You have personal preferences. You want certain coverage. It may not be for you. Not a problem. Um, that's where I kind of go with the mid rise. Like I always find me personally, for me, I like to have something that sits higher on my waist. That's for my body shape and my size and my personal preference. So I always go for something that has a mid rise, which is why I've been talking to you guys about these shorts the past couple of weeks, because I like tested these out. I mean, I've been wearing them all summer. These are like tried, true, and tested for me. So go with something that has a mid-rise, try them out, test them out. The only way for you to find something that's gonna be comfortable for you and work for you is to experiment. So I think about material, stretch, the rise, uh, the inseam. Think about the technical things for it, uh, for a garment, because that is how it will affect how it sits and actually fits your body and your shape. Um, and everybody's different. So, and everybody is beautiful. So I really wanna make sure that you just kind of give yourself a little breathing room to uh, try new things out and experiment. Um, but I would say start with the girlfriend short because it's mid-rise and it's amazing. Um, okay, question number five. 
five, I struggle with thinking outside the box and often buy clothes that I like, but I have difficulty with how to pair the items and often end up with plain looks. Interesting. What pieces do you recommend to spice up my wardrobe? Okay, we're going back to the first thing I said when we started today's live. The key is to have fun with our fashion, guys. It is not about you have to look a certain way, you have to follow these rules, you have to wear the black and the white, Megan wore colorful earrings, so you have to wear colorful earrings. No, that is not the important thing. The important thing is that you experiment, you have fun, and you try new things. So if you're somebody who buys the white shorts and then you only buy black tops, then my answer to you is accessories, accessories, accessories. If this is your comfort zone, add the accessories in, have fun with bright colors and different shapes and stuff in terms of earrings and shoes and handbags and all of that. But if this is not necessarily your comfort zone, you just happen to keep gravitating towards it, start to go out by incorporating small prints and patterns in the same color base. So a very easy way to do that is taking a gingham like this top here, super easy, still kind of a basic color scheme, and then bring that into your wardrobe and incorporate this into your wardrobe. Maybe then you're gonna go to a polka dot or a stripe. And then maybe you're gonna to start to incorporate, you know, a red or a yellow or, and that's sort of how you start to build in and move away from those quote unquote plain looks because you know what, maybe they're not plain. That's just kind of what you're telling me, but I might think they're beautiful. Um, so that is sort of how you start to kind of get, you know, weighed out uh, from the plain sort of, I'm so used to doing X, Y, and Z. You just slowly start to make those changes. And that's kind of what we've been talking about the last 15 weeks is just like, going in and saying to yourself, okay, I have these items in my wardrobe, how can I spice it up? How can I incorporate newness without going overboard? And how can I also make sure that I'm mixing and matching and keeping versatility in my wardrobe so that I'm not spending too much and going crazy and I'm re-wearing different things. And so the easiest way to do that is to slowly incorporate little bits of trends here and there and within reason, right? Wherever you're comfortable doing so. So maybe for some it's accessories, maybe for others it's a couple of bright tops or maybe for some people, you're gonna to start to bring color in with active wear or swimwear. As long as you keep sort of kind of adding some fun in to start being playful and then you edit down, you know? Like even something like the Brian blazer that I showed, this linen Brian blazer is a great way to very easily incorporate color into your wardrobe without going crazy. I mean, this is still kind of a very neutral tone, but you do have beautiful color, you have stripe. It's not overbearing, it's not too much, but it's a great, kind of stepping stone towards more. You know, I'm not saying you guys have to be like in hot pink dresses every day. You just have to do what's best for you and your personal preferences and your style and your taste level. Um, so, but I like that you wanted to add a little spice into your wardrobe. So I do think accessories and then small pops of color or prints is the way to go. Okay, here's the thing. Let's see what you guys are saying in here. Oh, the other thing is like, go back and check out the lives. I mean, we've been at this for 15 episodes. There's tons of fun tips and tricks that I've covered over the past couple of weeks. So if you're new and you wanna kind of catch up, it's a great way to just sort of explore different options. I mean, you know, some stuff may not be available from week one or two, but it's great to kind of hear out those like style tips and tricks. So I would say that and kind of just getting inspiration from your friends and the people around you as well. That's an easy way to start to incorporate and that spice up into your wardrobe. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. Hi, guys. So many comments. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, yes, this shirt is available. This is Lane Bryan. This is available. Someone asked, they hopped on Lane. Yes, this is available right now. As you guys know, you know the drill. After every episode, we share all the item numbers for all of the pieces that I talk about. So all you have to do is take the item number, type it into the search bar on lanebryan.com, and add to cart. If you're shopping in store, just take that item number. They can help you look it up or you guys know the visual and you can find it. Um, and of course, I know I, I said it at the top of the um, at the top of the live, but I will remind you guys there are lots of stores opening up and it's so exciting. So be sure to check lamebryant.com for your store location. If the hours are there, that means your store is open. Congratulations. It's happening. Uh, if your hours are not there, just be patient, it's coming, it will happen. You just have to kind of stick with them. Slow and steady wins the race. And of course, as you guys know, I've mentioned it in previous slides, but I will remind you again, Lane Bryant and their staff and their teams are doing everything in their power to keep you safe with your shopping experience. So associates are wearing masks. Everything is being sanitized and cleaned very often. There is hand sanitizer all throughout the stores. 
Um, they're keeping social distance from you. So there's a lot of opportunity for you to still shop within store and feel safe and secure. So just wanted to remind you guys, they're looking out for your best interest. So slow and steady on the store opening and they're keeping you healthy. Don't you worry. Um, here we go. Hi, hi, hi. Um, how are we doing? How are we doing? Um, could you use a shirt on have as a jacket? Totally, 100%. Unbutton it. Um, yes, it does go all the way. So you 100% can open it up and wear it as a jacket. It's a great idea. It's a really easy way to have a light layer and kind of have versatility, especially. Um, it's That's a great packing tip. Packing tip is to kind of uh, pack some more punch in the pieces that you have with you. Let's see. Earrings are lame, Brian. Please do not kill me. They may be gone. I'm sorry. Uh, but there are tons of other options available on there right now, especially with the accessory sale. So hit the site and be sure to check it out. 50% off clothing, sleepwear, shoes, and accessories. So now is the time, you guys. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, God. You guys are loving the blouses. Thank you so much. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you so much much for all these comments today guys i hate the dead you know i don't like dead air i don't like to be silent but i do really want to see what you guys are saying because i love to kind of chit chat for a, a minute before i wrap it up um let's see let's see um somebody said they're worried about uh, professional clothing jackets super cute with jeans yes this would be adorable with jeans i also love it over like a dress with like a little belt that jacket over a maxi dress and belted is a super chic cute look for a fun layer um guys i promise you all these questions about the shorts if you have not hopped on board with these shorts please do so you will not regret it um whether it be the white or the denim color they are so they fit so incredibly well and they are so comfortable i have literally worn them all summer they are they are good to go i promise you you will not regret it uh jacket is a linen material blend yes it is uh black top i have on is available on the site. Love the white shorts, need the earrings. Hello, everybody. This is so fun. You guys are in it today. I love it. Um, okay. Oh, gingham shirt, navy or black. Uh, so it looks to be black, I believe. Show you guys up close. It's gonna look a little bit weird with the light, so that is the only thing, but it is a black and white gingham. Uh, and there's tons of other gingham options too on the site. This is a really great trend for summer. So I definitely uh, suggest that you guys kind of hit that section of the site and sort of you know scour through and see what ways that you can incorporate trends especially if you're shopping this weekend and you want to hit that sale that is the way to do it for sure um okay let's see let's see somebody said i just bought two pairs of shorts 20 bucks each yes you shop the sale i love it i'm so excited to see that someone's birthday happy birthday um let's see i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling okay Thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments and, and everything. I just, I'm so grateful to you all because honestly, we've been doing this for 15 episodes and I wouldn't be happening if you guys didn't log on and like it and hang out with me and comment and ask questions and all those things. And really at the end of the day, I love fashion. I love what I do. I love being a stylist. I love being able to help people feel their best and look their best and be the best versions of themselves by expressing themselves through fashion. And you guys let me do that every single week, every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You and of course, my lovely friends over at Lee and Brian also allow me the privilege of doing this every week and I'm just so incredibly grateful. So thank you all, thank you you guys. Thank you to Lee and Brian. I'm just so happy to be able to be coming to you every week live at five. Um, in the beginning, it was sort of just a way to keep things going and, and lift our spirits in the COVID um, world that we were living in. And now it's sort of evolved into this like fun thing that we all get to do together. So thank you very much. I'm so appreciative for every single comment, heart, like, double tap, thumbs up, DM. You guys have been so incredibly kind and wonderful to me. It does not go unnoticed. I'm incredibly grateful for it. So thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. As a reminder, don't forget every single Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I come to you live and we just have some fashion fun. Uh, we talk about different things each week. If you have some suggestions, send them our way. I'd love to know. I'm happy to cover anything. Um, next week is going to be another fun one. And I'm just so thrilled that you guys are enjoying these as much as I am enjoying doing them for you. So thank you again. 100 times over. Please do not forget 50% off this weekend. Clothing, shoes, sleepwear, accessories, major, major sale. Don't sleep on it. 
Add to cart, take care of it now so you can enjoy 4th of July weekend with your friends and your family. And when you do that this weekend, please just be safe, stay hydrated, wear your mask, and be kind to one another because that is, of course, what is most important. So thank you guys so much. Until next week, adios, my friends. I will see you next Friday at 5 p.m. Live at 5.